Hi, my name is Mackenzie Lewis, and I will be telling you about the internship experience I had at Aspire Hospital this summer. I'm currently in Canise 4394, and I just completed the first half. And I was at Aspire Hospital under the supervision of Dr. Dustin Bickford. I have a PowerPoint that I will have uploaded uh, onto the site that I'll be using, but you can't really see it on my iPad at the moment, but there it is. So we had basic day-to-day -day job duties that we were required to do as interns there. Uh, one of them would just be to prepare the flow sheets, which means that we would write out what the patients were going to be doing. There was a, a list of exercises and you would just put how many minutes they were going to do it or the duration or what kind of weight, anything like that. Put their name, their doctor, just anything that you would need to use for their file. Another job that we had was that we would bring back patients, so there would be evaluations, which is first-time patients, where we would take them back and get them ready. Or if it was patients who had been here many times before, we'd bring them back, get them situated on either the bike or the elliptical, whatever their warm-up would be, and we would get their blood pressure and record that on their flow sheet as well. Another thing would be assess the vitals, as I mentioned. We would take their blood pressure. If it was a little bit high, we'd get them some water, let them calm down before starting their warm-up. Sometimes we'd take their oxygen level, just depending on what Dr. Bickford wanted or their heart rate. We would also assist Dr. Bickford during his evaluations, which was one of the most fun parts for me, was to be able to watch and listen while he did these evaluations and a system in that, whether it just be, you know, wiping the patient down with some alcohol while he got ready to dry needle or any, anything like that. Uh, one of the, also, like, the main thing that we did, honestly, would just be to take the patients to their exercises. So they'd get there, they'd warm up, we'd have their flow sheet, we'd see what they're doing, and we'd just take them to those exercises. We would explain it, or we would demonstrate it, depending on what they needed. A lot of the patients already knew what they were doing because they've been there a while, so it wasn't too difficult on us, but sometimes we had to figure out modifications if they couldn't do something quite right, if they were just tired that day. The more minor things that we had to do would be like cleaning or folding laundry. They didn't have us do a lot of that. Of course, when you're done with the table, you know, you wipe it down for the next patient, but they really didn't have us do much busy work like that. It was mainly taking care of patients and learning, which I really appreciated. So something else that he had us do would be the home exercise programs, which are called AP HEPs, and he would ask us different questions, and we kind of have to come up with those on our own, but of course it was up to him what was actually put on the HEPs for the new patients. So evaluations, as I mentioned before, was like my most favorite part. We would bring them back to the last table, we'd take their blood pressure, their oxygen, their heart rate, record it on their new file, we'd tell Dr. Bick for ready. So he would have us possibly do assessments on them where we would see how far they could side bend or flexion and extension, depending on whatever he needed, and he'd record the numbers for us so we could have some experience doing that. He would have us listen to what he is asking the patient, and if the patient is saying something like, oh, I have a pain right here, then we should listen and be like, okay, so what, what could cause a pain there? And if, he said, okay, well, can you do this? And they go like that. We're like, okay, well, then it's not like an external rotator. So we'll be able to figure out, because once you've been there long enough, you know what he's going to ask you. So you figure out why he's asking this question so you can kind of jump in because he's going to ask you, okay, so what do you think it is? What exercises? What should we do? So it was very important to be on top of things and to be listening because you need to know uh, what is available for the patient to do regarding like exercises and stuff. We also were able to learn some manipulations, like the thoracic manipulation, ankle manipulation, hip manipulation, and toes. Also how to assess like the hip uh, internal rotation, external rotation, and flexion. And this we were only allowed to complete, like do on the other interns. We couldn't do them on patients because, you know, we're not doctors or anything yet. But we could practice on our, the other interns. And I really loved learning the manipulations. That was fun. I like to do it on my family some. That was a good life skill to have. I think that's really going to help us in DPT school that we have that head start there. Something cool there is that we had aquatic therapy. And my favorite patient came from aquatic therapy, so I really, really love the aquatic therapy aspect. So we have the aquatic therapy because the uh, GFR is lower and then out of water with gravity. The patients who are like fall risk or something like that, 
it's a lot better for them to be in the water. It also relaxes them so that, you know, if something happens or their, their leg gives out or something like that. They're, they're not going to just fall and hurt themselves. They just be in the water. And we didn't ever have any issues that someone went under and we couldn't get them out. Like they all just kind of sit up on their own. We never had any issues. The water wasn't super deep, so there was never really any issues with that. So throughout the uh, internship, we learned the different ways to modify exercises, as well as the exercises themselves, learned different manipulations and how to assess patients. I think something else that was really unique is that he had questions on a whiteboard that we had to go through each week that I think helped me a lot in actually my tests because I had biomechanics this year. So I remember a few of the questions on my board were actually on my tests that helped me learn there. And that's really going to help me in DPT too because the questions weren't just, what is this? It was like, what is this? Why does it happen? What can we do? Where does it stem from? So it wasn't just yes or no, black and white questions that had to go deeper. And that's going to help us if we get into PT school because we're going to know what to actually do with the material and eventually with our future clients. I feel really blessed to have been able to intern at a company that actually cares about where I go in life and really wants me to do well and succeed in the field of physical therapy.